Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with the next series in my tutorials on how to customize Windows Vista with a pretty cool application called Nimi Visuals. I probably said that wrong, so forgive me. I'm <laughs> um, basically, what Nimi Visuals is, is it is a, well, it's a, it's a application to enhance your Windows Vista basic desktop. Um, now, do note, if you are running Windows Vista uh, Ultimate or Home Premium or anything like that, you can pretty much skip by this video unless there are a few effects in here, but it's really not really meant for you. It's mostly meant for people uh, like me who are running Windows Vista Basic who do not have Arrow and don't, don't, we don't have any of the cool transparency effects. So basically what this, this video is about is just to show you guys a really cool program so that you can do a lot of things, basically add some, uh, add some flash, add some, uh, some nice eye candy to your desktop. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is on your right, uh, you need to take a look at there are two links. I'll have one for a must need, uh, you might have to have this service pack installed. Uh, it's called the .NET framework. Um, some of you might have it, some of you might not. I will have the link in there. Check it out because this you have to have this uh, this installed on your computer before uh, the visuals will work. Um, if you have it, that's great. Um, if you don't have it, go ahead and install it. It will take a little while to install, but uh, yeah. So once you've done that, go to the next link, which I will show you right now. This link is basically just to install the, the program. It will probably take a moment to open. If it nope, okay, never mind. Okay, so basically, this is a really basic installation. You don't even install the program. Um, it is really, really very simple. Um, let's just let this load real fast. Basically, what the program is, it do all kinds of transparency effects, um, some cool uh, lighting effects, all kinds, of just some nice, uh, just some nice eye candy, basically for your desktop. Um, so basically, uh, real simple. If you go to this link, you'll see you can read it. Uh, like uh, I, I don't know if I said it before, but this is totally free. Um, and I do know that there are paid ways to do this, but I I like this myself. It's free. Um, it is still somewhat glitchy. Um, it's it's but still, if you don't go crazy with the effects, it's fine. Anyway, so uh, let's just go ahead. All you have to do is just hit download now. Download. It's very simple. One of the easy, very very easy install. You, it does not even install. Basically, what it does is wherever you download it, be sure to make sure that you never delete that because it's not actually installed. The file, the the, the file that uh, you download is the entire thing. So if you accidentally delete that, then the whole thing will be gone. So just keep that in mind when you do it. So just download it. Um, just have it put it, run it, and then you have to run it once first, and then what you can do, I just close this out, is just what I just did was I just dragged a uh, shortcut onto my desktop. But once you first run it, if you can see down here, it, a little icon will pop up down here. And basically you will look down there and uh, hit center. And this is this is the thing. And I, here you can see it. Um, you know, I, I, before I begin, I will definitely want to let you guys know, if you have a uh, Windows Vista basic computer, you will need to kind of be careful with some of these. Um, not to say that they will mess your computer up, but, it, well, most computers that are running Vista Basic can't run Arrow, and that's for a good reason, because they just don't have the hardware. So, even though you can do a lot of this stuff in here, y you might want to just be careful, uh, maybe not add like a half a dozen effects, which would really slow your computer down. Really, it's all about customization, just, just check what you want what looks good but don't check so much that you, your computer starts to lag or anything like that basically just kinda experiment now as you can see here on the pre whoops on the previous video I had how to install themes and I have the Windows 7 theme as you can see here I've already got the uh, taskbar enabled let me just show you this real fast you can see that this is uh, transparent which it normally is not 
Um, I've already got this on. I will show you how to do this. But um, So you can see that it's already starting to look like Windows 7. I will have a full video on more stuff to do, like how to change the taskbar and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so once you have this up, uh, open up Effects. And basically what you do, you can go in the Featured and have it auto-do it, but you know it's not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to show you there are a lot, quite a few effects. Um, there aren't a lot, but there are quite a few. Um, basically what you do is you you have uh, different the different things like transparency effects and windows or you can go into all um, I'm just gonna go into active just to show you guys it's a and I've only got two on right now um, it's the taskbar start menu like I said you can see down here the taskbar is transparent and the start menu looks very nice and transparent and again that that's a glitch that I will try to fix for you guys later but uh, kind of taking this slowly and then non-active window transparency now to show you guys what that is I'm gonna open up a couple of different windows um, open up. Oops. there we go um, I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna open up oh same music now I'm gonna show you guys and it takes just a second to load but now, whoops. Now if you I just drag this down a little bit. If you look at, like, for example, this documents, you can see that it is transparent. You can't see it so much, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. It's kind of difficult. It, you see how it fades in and everything. Um, my computer's a little slow, so you might have just it might just lag a little bit there. But as you can see, it looks nicely uh, transparent. And then if I want to swap windows, click it. Um, on my computer, it does take a second, but it's not really a big deal to me. And then you can see like that. Um, that just adds a little bit of nice transparency. It looks nice. Go ahead and shut all these down and pull this. But, um, but seriously, I will just be really brief and show you. And uh, one thing, when you click them, when you uh, hit one of these, uh, be sure to hit this little refresh because that will show you that they come up. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, okay, I'll back out. Go in again. Um, I can just show you there are quite a few. I will not really show you that many whenever I turn them on my computer lag, so I will. Um, but there are quite a few. Um, I recommend just mess around with them. Some, like I said, don't go crazy. Um, try as many as you want, and then test your computer out and see if your computer starts to lag using, you know, fluid windows or whatever. Then you know that you might not want to use that one so much. Same goes for like, uh, well, any of them. And in addition, you know, if you add like four or five, then maybe your computer might not run that well. In addition, some of your some of these, depending on what uh, what hardware you have, might not even work at all. Um, if it doesn't, don't. It's not it's not the program. It's just that you're you don't have like maybe the video card or whatever like that. Anyway, um, that's just about it, guys. Don't want to drag this out, but it's a really cool thing if you have Vista Basic. And if you don't, there are still things for like if you have uh, like Ultimate or whatever, like uh, like Windows Edge Snap, which I won't. I, sorry, I can't show a lot of these. It's gonna slow down. But um, some nice effects. Um, I mean, none of this is strictly necessary. I mean, almost all these are just for looks. But it's it's kind of nice. I mean, you can just look through like. I mean, I mean, I'm even gonna try to do them all. Um, the program is pretty robust in my opinion. Um, I haven't really had any problems with it. I haven't used it a lot yet. It is still fairly new, but uh, I like it quite a bit. Anyway, so that's just about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that me and Iron Man three 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 have started a new channel uh, for Zidric the website. And of course, you guys should check that out. Um, we are doing some reviews specifically for Zidric that you can only find on the Zidric channel or the Zidric website. So guys, I definitely recommend check that out. We're doing almost daily reviews. Um, you can subscribe to the Zidric channel if you like. Not necessary. All you got to do is just check out the Zidric website. We will have ratings. We will have uh, full written reviews and video reviews almost on a daily basis. So you guys might go and go check it out. Thanks for watching.